Hey everyone, some of you asked for a more in-depth tutorial on how to do image prompting. Here's a quick video on how I do it. You're gonna start with a prompt and the most important word to use is abstract. One particular thing I like to use is the phrase muted colors. This will give a much more calm presence to the image. Now, while we wait for these to generate, you'll notice that it says AR 3x2 and style 4B. Because I've kind of been into landscape images lately, I used a trick where I don't have to type the aspect ratio every time. So here's how you do it. You're gonna hit forward slash and then prefer suffix. Because I already have the aspect ratios listed, hitting prefer suffix just how it is is going to erase everything and then I'll put it back so you can see. So the suffix is now removed. So we're gonna go prefer suffix, new value, and we're gonna put in AR three by two, but I also want style 4B. 4A is just a different style of version four. It's a little less crisp, a little less sharp, so I stick with 4B. And I think the default version four is 4B now, but I just, I like to make sure. So now anytime I write a prompt, it's gonna fill out the back of it with AR three by two style 4B. But here's an important note, make sure you go to your settings and make sure they're all correct. You're gonna see since I cleared the suffix, it brought me back to version three. I don't want that. So we're gonna go version four, and then it shows you what you currently have selected. So three by two, four B version four, looks good to me. Okay, let's go to our designs. Abstract poster, pretty simple. Which ones do you like? I'm thinking number one, but I also like number four. I think I'm gonna choose number four. So we're gonna upscale them. Now, oh, look at this, I spelt it wrong. Abstract design in muted colors. But look how good Mid Journey is. It doesn't matter, it still gave me what I wanted. Spelling mistakes, not that big of a deal, as you can see. I do like number one because it's off center, but number four seems to have a little more going on. Uh, let's choose both of them. And because I specified muted colors, I get this kind of palette where you're gonna get some browns, some yellows, a couple dark colors, but nothing super vibrant or fancy, which you definitely get without specifying it. Our first poster has been upscaled. Now you don't need to see this for every example. This one will do just fine. You're going to enlarge the picture, AKA just click on it so it gets bigger, and then you'll be able to right click on the image and you're gonna go to copy image address. Now that it's copied to your clipboard, you're gonna go down to the message box and prompt normally, only you're gonna hit control V and it's gonna give you this big long bunch of text and whatever, this is your image address. Once you hit enter, it will shorten it, so don't worry. Even though this looks funny, this is how it's supposed to be. So you have this big long image address. You're gonna hit space. So there's a space between the image address and your next word. And then this is where you get to pick whatever word you want. I liked using the Joker in the last video, but let's be a little more random. Let's go with a crystal dolphin. So you see here how the link was shortened and then it's got your prompt right after. That's it, that's how you do it. That's how you image prompt. Let's just wait for the results. And while we wait for the results, let's image prompt with these other ones that we made. Copy image address, control V. And we're gonna say crystal dolphin. Okay, this one's done already. Uh, holy cow. We image prompted this address with the word crystal dolphin and we get these. Pretty sick. I love that it kept the colors. I like that it kept it on a poster. I mean, these three did, this one didn't really. But like the yellow, black, and red comes through pretty clearly. Which one is your favorite? Oof, that's a tough pick. I mean, this dolphin in number three is pretty amazing, but I kind of like number four. Okay, so we went from this to these. Ooh, now these still stay abstract, which I really, really like. And check out that blue in number two. That's so beautiful. Number four actually kind of looks like a dolphin. And then we went from this to these. And to be honest, I was kind of hoping it would keep them off center, but these are still, these are still pretty great. Like that dolphin at number four is superbly pretty. I'm pumped about these. You're gonna get at least one outstanding picture no matter what. And sometimes all four are gonna be the best things you've ever seen. Okay, there are like two more things I wanna point out before I show you the magical prompt. The first is that you don't have to upscale one of these photos. You can right click and hit copy image address on the thumbnail as a whole and it'll still work. It's a little different, I guess, but it still works. 
The second thing I want to show you is using more than one image prompt. Now, I don't know the best way to show this, but we're just going to take two of the ones we made and see what we come up with. We're going to start with this one. Yeah, okay, let's try this one. We're going to copy that, hit a space, paste it, another space, and we're going to try Batman again. Okay, here are the results. Instead of upscaling, we just copied this image address and used it in our prompts, and it comes up with this, which is pretty cool. Let's go back and forth really quick. Goes from these four to these four. Now, I don't know how big of a difference that is. I can't... <laughs> I don't think you'd ever be able to put your finger on it, but just to let you know, you don't have to upscale. You can simply use the original thumbnail in the same process. Okay, now we use this one and we use this one and we added Batman and we get these. Yeah, there are so many rabbit holes to go down with Mid Journey. I don't want to overwhelm you. Just want to let you know that this is an option to choose from. I don't know how you're ever gonna choose which way to do it. So there's a quick rundown of how to image prompt from start to finish, but now let me show you a magical prompt that will just get you the craziest abstract pictures you've ever seen. Now this came from a comment suggestion on my last YouTube video from Goofy Sloth. I can't thank you enough, man. This is just absolutely wild. He said, bro, use this prompt to make the abstract. It's surreal fantasy abstract in infographic style without text, maximum texture, dash dash, no text, which is called negative prompting. And that just basically tells the AI not to include any text. And here's what it came up with, like mind blown. I don't know how he found this out, but I am so grateful he shared it. And if you have any cool tips or tricks like that, please share them with me as well. So I was pretty excited and I wanted to see what else I could add to this prompt to get more designs like this. One of my favorite words to use in AI is neon. It just works so well and like, Oh, I'm getting goosebumps looking at them again. Yesterday it blew my mind and today I, I, I still can't get enough of them. Breathe, breathe. Okay, gotta kind of contain my excitement here. But how crazy are these pictures, man? First of all, which one is your favorite? I really don't think you could choose. How could you? Okay, first of all, my mind goes to number four. Just incredible. But then I'm thinking, well, okay, number one, I like the layout, the composition. But then how can you not like number two? This orange, like shining light on the rest of the photo is crazy. And then the turquoise and yellow dichotomy of number three with just a little pink at the bottom, a little dash of color. These are freaking incredible, man. I also tried muted colors because I do like the look of a muted picture for sure. Now, it still added text in the infographic, but like I would say number two is, is what we were looking for, or at least what the prompt was designed to say. So I'm pumped about these, these are sick. And then I started upscaling them and they're all pretty nasty, right? Ah, look at this, man. Okay, we're gonna start from this one. I don't know how many I'm gonna show because there's quite a bit to go through, but let's just treat this as a little slideshow of joy. If you wanna stick around and check out some cool pictures, bear with me here. So we go from this to these. This is Batman, of course. Now I'm okay with it not getting a perfect four out of four because the ones it does get is easily an A+. Number three is so sweet. The imposing figure in the background with like this diffused light show going on behind him, like that purple, that pink, and that yellow with some little turquoise blue on the side. Crazy. And then look at his suit in number four. Sure, the bat symbol is not necessarily a bat symbol, but it's a pretty coherent pattern going from like collar to collar. And the sound waves, and then the foreground here, whatever that stuff is, and then, ah, oh, just ridiculous. Here's the flash. Just like the most epic composition ever. I don't know how you could get these pictures without using image prompting. If you said surreal picture of the flash, I think it would draw the flash in a very surreal way rather than inputting the flash into a surreal environment. You know what I mean? These are just wild. I don't know how I'm, <laughs> I wanna upscale them all. They're all great. Here's Wonder Woman looking sharp. Like look at the symmetry in number four, not just between the colors, but the height of these wave lines. What do you wanna call them? Sound waves maybe? And okay, maybe number three is my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> is it number one? 
which one would you pick and i gotta say this might be my favorite word to go after an image prompt it's just sports car super simple sports car but look what it does to these photos man i don't even want to talk about them because of how good they are i love the complete uh set that this picture is on first of all that car is sick but like oh and then it's like a circle and then it's like this the four corners are not like not really in frame but i also love how isolated number two is. It's kind of just in the depth of space, it looks like. And number three, the reflections from this light off the wall. Oh, they're incredible. And you know what? I tried minivan as well, because why not? And these are pretty crazy. I think I really do like the isolated images where it just kind of places it on a platter, so to speak. Here's the Joker again, because why not? Love how the waves kind of turn into like a city. This was just incredible. Oh yeah, I tried the Justice League. Look how it separates each person. Now, I know it's not the actual Justice League, but I bet you within like five months it will be. So for now, just enjoy this abstract demonstration of them. Love the colors in number one. Love the composition in all of them. How does it know to put them facing the opposite way? Like, oh, it's so good. All right, we're not done. Here's Gundam Mecha. And ooh, these are awfully, awfully pretty. I I just love the aesthetic it gives. Super surreal, super futuristic, I would also describe it as. And the last prompt is Mad Scientist, uh, because I really do like what Mid Journey comes up with in terms of a mad scientist. I love the details that it brings into the photo. Kind of makes it look like he's working in a lab. You know, there's electricity going off. Real Frankenstein vibes. Now, I don't know if you want to see all the prompts again that I just used, but if you do, here they are using this as the image prompt. Bat man thick ass pictures man love the glow of the moonlight behind him with this like extra little light point going up so spooky but so powerful then we got the flash i mean oof the freaking the halo around him and then this little crescent moon but then check out number three he's ah oh, the framing of that is just wild and how his foot is kind of coming out of the blue light and then it's going up his calf it's crazy oh and i never noticed but number one it kind of looks like he has a mustache shout out to that guy wonder woman the different colors the blue to the purple to the orange to the yellow Justice League. Okay, this one I wanted to point out because I think it's hilarious that his pointy ears are kind of like the dividers between each person. <laughs> That's hilarious. Number four is super spooky. Love the light shining like out of his eyes and across his mask kind of. And then the longer you look at number three, the crazier it gets. So her hair is kind of Batman's chest, but then that goes into the chest of the other guy. Now that is surreal sports car oh yeah stick around because you got to see these sports car images look how sick they are i think they look quite different from one another like never would have guessed this all came from the same image prompt but just so nasty like look at the the style of number three it's like a cartoon almost or an i don't know how i describe it but i love it mm, gundam mecha look at the colors and look at the positioning of the frame where you have these giant mechs and then these small small looking cities in the background that they tower over and the use of the planet in the background just behind the mech that's that's insane mad scientist bro look how provocative these images are okay so now here's the muted color example i'm not gonna lie these aren't as exciting as the previous ones but i think they're still worth taking a look at the framing and the composition of the image it's it's pretty top notch especially if you want colors like this here's the flash like look how much it brings into the photo all the little details just makes me want to shake my head like look how good they oh this is around the time i started adding in tmnt the teenage mutant ninja turtles i like that it doesn't really bring in anything recognizable except for little turtle looking men with maybe some bandanas around their eyes sports car bro look at these man Mwah. hot air balloons in the back like oh so surreal mad scientist yo first of all love number four because he's kind of like a skeleton maybe experiment gone wrong love number one because that is surreal just a floating head number three he actually looks like he's screaming <laughs> crazy Ooh, and then i tried this prompt the aurora peep this yo 
the depth of field in these photos, wild. Okay, fine. This is gonna be the last one. We're gonna go through them pretty quick, but you gotta see them. Here's Batman. Freaking love the colors in this. The black goes so well with the yellow and the blue. Here's the Flash. I'd say the same thing, that the red goes really well with the yellow and the blue. Wonder Woman, super provocative. The Justice League. Love the circle. The composition is just so aesthetically pleasing, especially with like Superman's clear logo right here. Sports car, dude. You can't get better pictures than this. This is definitely probably my favorite prompt. Look at number two, man. Mad Scientist is sweet as well. Okay, wait, there's one more I wanted to show you. I gotta find it though. Okay, wait, this is pretty sick. This is the Aurora. Ooh, ah, I could go on for days. Dude, look at the portal. It's like grassy in here, but then through the portal, you see the planet and then like, ooh, is that a figure in this? Okay, I found it. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I just wanna show you the sports car version of this image prompt. What even are, like, what is number four? It's so cool. Oh my God, number three is amazing too. But like, ooh, amazing. Okay, I gotta wrap up this video here. Just wanted to thank Thank Goofy Sloth again for this suggestion. Please, if you have anything similar, let me know in the comments below. And I know these videos are a little more relaxed, so if you want an in-depth course that'll take you through how to use Midjourney from start to finish, my friend Graham still has 80% off of his course available. Check it out if you're interested. I think it can help a lot. He touches on some great points and I'm super proud to be a part of it. The link is in the description below. I hope you're all doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time.